Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good morning, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Today is one of the biggest shopping days of the year. Many stores were open even before the sun came up. Newslink Indiana's Jennifer Kinley found out what toys one store will try to keep on the shelves. The holiday season is upon us. A lot of toys went out, a lot of Christmas trees went out. It's that time of the year already. People are started, starting earlier for those hot toys. According to a Gallup poll, by mid-November last year and this year, Americans had already spent a little more than $700 on Christmas gifts. Target toy executive Cindy Simcoe says a lot of the same toys that were hot last year will be hits again this year. The Spider-Man Power Blaster, um, the Video Now, which was hot last year, but it's hot again this year. Uh, Leapster is real hot this year. Cabbage Patch Dolls, and of course games are always hot. One of those games, Monopoly, as well as the hot card game, Poker. Simcoe has noticed a trend in toys over the years. A lot of uh, toys are coming around to my kids' generation, which is in the 30s that they had when they were kids. So those seem to be going really hot because those kids have kids now. So those um, ones that have come back are really hot. But stores aren't the only ones getting a head start on the holiday. Well, we started last Wednesday. My son's really into PlayStation games, and my daughter really likes Bratz. While Kevin Dodd and his wife started shopping early, they say they'll probably still have to shop until Christmas Eve. In Muncie, Jennifer Kinley, Newslink, Indiana. The Gallup poll also showed actual retail sales have increased each year since 1998 by an average of 5% a year. The armed forces are bringing in the big guns to help sign up potential soldiers, even as the U.S. military has its hands full in Iraq. They're putting more recruiters on the streets, spending $180 million on promotions. Ads appear on ESPN, and there's a website that allows users to chat with recruiters 24 hours a day. Now the Army is turning to educators to help point out the positives of serving by inviting them to spend a few days at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. I think I would encourage folks to who are graduating from high school or maybe a student at Ball State University to actually consider the Army or the military for what educational opportunities and career opportunities might be available to them because I really think it's worth taking a good, strong, hard look at. The active Army recruited 77,587 soldiers in fiscal year 2004, surpassing its goal of 77,000. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 tonight for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.